Sup everybody, it's a cool evening on the streets of Lagos and I remain your girl Watefe Oni. Yeah, I say cool evening because I think this is the best weather to hassle people in. So today I'm actually, let's say I'm going to be looking for a little bit of trouble. I mean, come on, we always think that we can bear a lot of things. Like everybody thinks they can bear a lot of things in relationships. Now let's see how far you can bear or how much you can bear in one. So don't go anywhere, just stick around and let's see how people react. What's your name? My name is Victoria. Victoria, Queen Victoria. Anyways, I've got a question for you. Okay. Now, you meet someone who you is actually your specs, is what you like, is everything, is tall, is nice, is loving, is caring, it's all that and that. But then it has one tiny little problem. It has a case of terrible mouth odor. A terrible case of mouth odor. It has a severe case of mouth odor. Terrible case of mouth odor. Away. Wow. <laughs> Say wow. <coughs> what to do? Mouth odor. And it will kiss me. Who is now? <laughs> no, 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 I just need to be sure. Uh, you you know. odor. Ah. Uh, well. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> She's laughing she doesn't know what to do. Uh, sorry. <laughs> So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? Will you be like, okay, stay, date him or? Uh, I, I don't know. I think, I think it's curable. Yeah, I think maybe you go to a doctor or something. Other than that, just mouth odor. Yeah, mouth odor, but serious. I can perceive it from that tree. Ah, oh, Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. I beg your pardon, I cannot deal with that. I can't be kissing with, you know, ah, see, she just said, I like to kiss. <laughs> she just said exactly what the problem is. That is the problem there, and she has said it. So, in other words, I got to Yeah, that's it. Well, sure, um, probably if it's the one. My dear, I don't know. I don't think I can. Okay, fine. If I really like him, like, like him, like him, like him. Well, I think I'll tell him, but then, you know, some guys are pompous. You might not want to be told. Relationship is for you to learn from the person, and then the person will learn from you. If you are doing anything wrong, the person can correct you, and then you also correct the person. If he finds any fault in me, like maybe as a girl, I'm always wearing one pant. Uh -huh. Like, I like your example for one day, full day. You know, that can lead to infection. In that infection, it can also get contacted too. Okay, if you tell me, ah, oh, baby, try and wash your pants. At least if you wait in the morning, towards the afternoon, or towards the evening, you take it off, wash it. Then I will learn from him that I will take it every day. I wash my pants, change it. So the same thing goes with him. If he's having a terrible mouth odor, I should be able to tell him, ah, oh, baby, at least brush your teeth or let's see a dentist and all those stuff. You know, if someone has mouth odor, you can't kiss the person. You know, kissing is like intimacy when it comes to relationships. So we're gonna look for solution to you know get her mouth order done because I can't be talking with you and pretending. So if I'm talking to you and I'm putting my face uh, the other way, it's like terrible. So we'll just try our best to make the mouth order thing go away. Mouth order is a big thing, like because we're going to kiss now. We're going to talk. Imagine perceiving such. Well, anyway, I think love conquers all. So what I will do is, it's not as if because I'm in love with him, I will just. We we'll have to fight it. We we'll have to fight away the the, uh, the the mouth order, yeah. But my sister, mm -hmm. see, I like your spirit, but I, I sense confusion, strong confusion. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I'm really conflicted here. I don't know. Hmm. So in other words, my dear, I cannot. I beg. Let me just face reality. I can't. I don't know. So, unless we sister, I think is that first one that you mentioned as the main problem. How? Which, which one? No, no, is that you we kiss, you we talk, so I'm thinking that's the main problem. Uh, yeah, thank you. So you know, that, that's the main problem. But so long as it's something curable, I don't have a problem. But if it's not curable, trust me, remember, it won't work. <laughs> no, it won't work. You know, you know the thing now, you tell them they have a problem, they don't want to admit it and all that. So what, what, how will how you react or how will you manage that? Okay, if I tell her like you have a mouth order, she's like not taking it with me. I try to give her like... Um, Gum. I know like chewing yeah. gum can like stop it for a while and if she's getting angry I'm like telling her the truth then we can't go because relationships are like two stops 
If I tell you what I want, you tell me what you want, we make it work. So if it's not let, letting that work, then it's over. You know. Because definitely you're gonna be seeing my friends. And they're gonna talk to me about it like your bae is fine, but <laughs> mouth other. I like to kiss and I don't want a very terrible mouth other while we are kissing. But I'll try to like help him, you know, get him um a mouthwash, get him other stuff that could help him with his bad, bad breath. But if it's not one thing, you know, some guys are just very egocentric. So if it's not, if he's that kind of person, I'm going to shove him off my ass. Oh my! <laughs> one serious problem. Practically everybody I've interviewed today is like that. Uh -uh, it's not fair. Anyway, I'll still go straight to my question. So what? <laughs> It's not my fault. I know it's not your fault. I'm not blaming you. Seriously, I'm not blaming you. So let's say you meet someone you like a lot. She's all you like. Actually, she's nice. She's loving. She's scary. She's everything you actually practically want. But she has a case of terrible mouth odor. What are you going to do? I'll tell her. Yes. And after that? Then after that, we'll work it, find a way to work it out so she get off. It's over. But you know that there are some people you tell them they have problems and they're like, what do you mean I've got a problem? I don't have a problem. Or they tell they downplay their problems. If that person is like that, what do you intend to do? I'll, I'll let it be. Then we'll move on together. That reminds me of this. If you won't let it be, everything will be. For, the, for that moment, for that time, I'll let it be. I won't talk about it anymore. Yes. You let the problem be. I'll let the problem be. So she, since she, she likes it and she doesn't care about it, fine, I'll let it be. I like the person. When we talk about this, difference between like and love. You know, love cannot just come. A love is gradual process. When there is a love, and you have the person you love has a mouth order. What I do, first of all, I seek a medical attention for that person. Well, after medical attention, if I couldn't get a solution what i will do because of the love i have for that person there is nothing bad but i will only advise him not to talk in public he can talk to me i can bear it because i love that person because love does not come once as you see but gradual process yeah anyway i can still go for the person it depends on the person. You know, mouth order is not a permanent thing you get. So if the person is ready to work on it, so I can still stay with the person. Hey, but don't you care about it? I care about it. And if she doesn't want to get rid of it, fine. You can be with her, date yes, her, okay, and try to cope. But along the line, I know she, one day she will succumb to it. That ah, this uh, this thing. Ah. So people, people might have been telling her things like that. So one day she will now get to her senses that oh, somebody told me this again. So let's work it out. Oh, and how long do you think you can cope with something like that? I don't have a problem with people disagreeing on what uh, whatever they. You know what? I like this kind of person. Their patience knows no bounds. So thank God for that. All right. Thank you very much, then. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. Though I think I did do a good job of making people reveal their thoughts. <laughs> Alright, I remain Watifei Oni. Thank you for keeping it locked down with me today. And you can like any of our videos on any of our social media handles. You can like and comment. And uh, yeah, like and comment. Thank you. See you guys later.